UFC pay-per-view in our main event. It'll be a welterweight showdown featuring the return of Keith one-time Thurman as he takes on Mario Barrios. Our co-main event will be an excellent featherweight showdown. They are sitting up on the stage. The champion, Leo Santa Cruz, will match up against Phoenix, Arizona's very own Keenan Carbohom. Let's meet one of the men involved in our main event on Saturday night. First of all, this man has a record of 26 wins, opposite one defeat, fighting out of San Antonio, Texas. He is the former super lightweight champion of the world. Let's take a look at Mario Barrios. The former super lightweight champion of the world, Mario de la Azteca Barrios. And now we welcome a man who has been away from the ring since 931 days. But he's making his return. He is the former unified welterweight champion of the world. He's back and ready to make a statement. One time Thurman looking forward to Saturday night. Introducing two wins coming by way of knockout. The former welterweight champion of the world. Here is Keith. One time of Thurman. This is our main event on Saturday night, Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view. Keith Thurman colliding against Mario Barrios here in Las Vegas. Thank you very much, gentlemen. You guys can take your seats. Greatly appreciate it. I'm going to start off with our co-main event as Keith Thurman and Mario Barrios take their seats. For Leo Santa Cruz to my right, how does it feel to be back since you've been away from the ring since Halloween night of 2020? I feel very excited. I feel anxious, you know, to get back in the ring. Uh, nervous, you know, a little bit of everything. Because, you know, I don't know how my body's going to react from all the long layoff. Uh, I don't know how it's going to react. But like I said, you know, I've been training really hard in the gym. I've been, uh, you know, working with my teammates. And we've been pushing each other. So I think I'm going to go out there and, you know, entertain. I'm ready to entertain the fans and give them a great fight. How excited are you to be fighting a guy in Kenan Carbohom, who's also of Mexican descent, who probably won't be too hard to find inside that ring on Saturday? Uh, no, I'm excited because, you know, he has that Mexican, you know, spirit that comes forward, comes to fight. He's not going to be running. He's going to be staying there in the middle of the ring, you know, fight with me. I know he, this is an opportunity for him, so he's going to come with everything. Uh, like I said, I never understand me, no fighter. I'm going to go out there, you know, like I'm going to fight the champion, like he's the champion. I know he's going to come with everything, and it's going to be a great fight. Leo Santa Cruz is the featherweight champion with a record of 37 wins, two losses, one draw, 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Now we'll talk with his adversary to my left, Kenny Carball from Phoenix, Arizona, riding an 18-fight win streak coming into this matchup. Keenan, this is the most high-profile fight that you've had in your career. What does this opportunity mean to be taking on Leo Santa Cruz? Man, you know, um, every, every war every you yearn is for that moment to be great, to, to, to be remembered, to be legendary. And this is, this is it. This is mine. This is my opportunity to, to show the world who I am. Now, the last name Carbajal is obviously synonymous with boxing royalty. Now, this is a very touchy subject, but... I wanted to address the fact that your Hall of Fame great uncle Michael Carbaum is actually rooting against you on Saturday. How difficult is that for you to put out of your mind to focus on the task at hand in Leo Santa Cruz? Uh, um, Michael's completely irrelevant. Um, he, it's new to you guys. He's, he, he, he had, he's had nothing to do with my career. So I, I got here just off, off, of, off, of, off of my talent and, and the familia behind me. He, he had nothing to do, so whether he's going for Leo or not, it don't make no difference to me. He, he's had zero influence on my career. Now let's transition to our main event, Keith, one time Thurman. Keith, before you got up here, I mentioned the fact that it has been on Saturday night, 931 days since you last competed. What emotions are you feeling like as you once again step inside the ring here in Las Vegas in the main event against Mario Barrios? 
I'm just happy to be here, man. I love being back, you know, where I belong, uh, which is at the forefront of the beautiful sport of boxing. Um, having to have a great challenger, Mario Barrio, stepping into the ring. You know, he's a, he's a young man. He's a capable man. Uh, I just told him he's a big little dude, you know, because he's standing over me. He's moving up a weight class. Uh, he's got these broad shoulders. With COVID and everything, we haven't been able to size each other up, man. So uh, that was a fun little five-second experience I had. You know, uh, boxers, we always size each other up. Once when we walk into a gym, you know, uh, the trainers out there, they know what I'm talking about. You walk into the gym, fighters sign up, sizing up, sparring partners, they never sparred, yada, yada, yada. But um, it's just great, man. You know, this is boxing. This is what I love. I don't care how many days it's been since I've been in the ring. Every day of Keith Thurman's life, I think boxing. I breathe boxing. I meditate about boxing. So, you know, I'm just here to do what I do best, man, to showcase my skills and my talent to the world and to the fans once again. Mario, what did you take away from that face-off? You said that, you know, obviously because we are still dealing with COVID here in the United States, that you guys hadn't been able to face off. That was the first official stare down that you've had in person. We've done virtual press conferences in the lead up to this fight. What did you take away from that face-to-face -face meeting moments ago? I never take away too much from the face-offs. Um, all that matters to me is that we're fighting on uh, on Saturday. But um, I knew I I had the height advantage on him. Um, you know, like you said, I mean, I'm uh, I'm younger, but um, and I am the one moving up. But I'm still the the, the bigger fighter. Now, most fighters in your position, Mario, coming off of their first loss, would have taken a tune-up fight in their first fight, especially at a brand new weight class, this being 147 for you. But you're going after a former unified welterweight champion of the world. What do you think that says about you as a prize fighter? I'm in this sport to fight the best. And, um, you know, there's, I've said it before, there's never been a name that I have turned down. And um, I want to continue on testing my abilities and uh, just proving to everybody that, that, that I belong. And that's exactly why, you know, we chose to, to take such, a, such a, a difficult fight for my first fight at welterweight. Keith, you mentioned to me on PBC's Instagram Live a few weeks ago that what you learned in the fight against Manny Pacquiao is that you want to throw more. With that being said, are we going to see a more aggressive Keith Thurman on Saturday night on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view? Well, you know, I love to... Uh, outpunch my opponents. There's very few opportunities where I'm unable to do that. One fight was against Sean Porter. You know, he brings a lot of punches. So I knew that I was going to have the finesse of victory and I wasn't going to be able to outpunch him. But everybody else that I've ever stepped in the ring, I always felt like I have the capacity to outpunch, outperform. When I fought Danny Garcia, he's always looking for the counter punches. His dad said, Thurman didn't throw any punches in the fight after they lost to me. And I said, well, I didn't throw any punches and your boy threw negative punches, you know, because I know round for round, I normally threw more punches than Danny Garcia. Um, so when I say throw more punches, in the Pacquiao fight, when I was walking him down, when I was putting him on the ropes, I wasn't letting my hands go. Um, I know my punch count was good for the fight, but I know I fell short. And I, I believe that I was 15 punches away from victory. So I have the wisdom, the skills, and the capabilities. I don't need to waste punches. I don't need to just throw punches to get the judges to... Um, give me every single round. You know, I need to land clean shots, the sharper shots, keep my defense tight. Um, there's, there's many strategies of coming away um, in those rounds. But as I see the, the warrior spirit in Mario Barrios, the more that he continues to fight, he's gonna awaken me and push me to fight harder. And that's what I look forward to Saturday night. Because you're fighting a guy seven years younger than you, a guy who is aggressive in Mario Barrios, does that put extra emphasis to really crank it out in the gym and really push yourself and try to extend your limits? Because you know you're going to be fighting a guy who's aggressive, who's going to be trying to take your head off. Oh, you know, it makes me just excited about the fight that I got somebody who wants to fight, who wants to trade, who wants to... Um, you know, he's stepping up and fighting Keith Thurman because he wants to make a name overnight. You know, the, like you, the last question that you asked him, why did you uh, take the fight with Keith Thurman? Because Mario Barrios wants to be a world-class name fighter. 
and I respect that. But I'm here to stop him in his tracks, and that's what Saturday Night's all about. Mario, you fought here in Las Vegas on the very first PBC show that was headlined by Keith Thurman and Robert Guerrero back in March of 2015. You fought in the undercard of that. Is it unbelievable for you to know that just in seven years' time that now you're going to be standing across the ring from Keith Thurman in the main event in your second straight pay-per-view headlining matchup? Absolutely. It's uh, it's uh, definitely a dream come true for me. If you would have told me on that day um, when I fought on the undercard that, you know, seven years later I would be fighting Keith Thurman himself, uh, I probably wouldn't believe you. But, you know, I stayed patient, I stayed focused, I stayed disciplined, and now I have my opportunity, you know, to to make a name in the in the Wattsway division. It's um, to move up that has been um, a long time coming. And um, but me and my team, um, we have have loved the, the results that we have had in camp, and um, I'm, I'm just excited for Saturday. You pointed out about the results in camp. This is a brand new weight class here at 147. You're going up seven pounds north. So what kind of Mario Barrios will the fans see and will the world see against Keith Thurman? They're gonna they're gonna continue to see the same Mario Barrios that has always you know stepped in the ring, but you know. A lot more stronger. Uh, my my speed is still there as it was, you know, at 140 and 135. Uh, movement and everything is is on point. And um, I mean, we're just like I said, I'm I'm just excited. Now, Keith, for you, you have fought 160 rounds over the course of your career. Of those 160 rounds, 101 of those have been championship rounds. Do you feel your experience will play a significant factor in the outcome of your fight against Mario Barrios on Saturday? Uh, definitely, you know. Um, I'm now 33 years old. I've been boxing since I was seven years old. I have, you know, all these stats that you're telling me that I don't even know because I live it, you know. <laughs> At the end of the day, um, I just I just evolve and I, and I learn um, from everything, from everyone that I've ever been in the ring with. So I look forward to showcasing my skills and my talent, my poise, my experience, and just everything. And, you know, I believe that it should give me a little bit of the upper hand. You know, I believe that I'm going to be craftier than this young man is expecting. Um, I believe that I'm going to be trickier and bring dynamics that none of his sparring partners were able to bring into the ring because they cannot mimic Keith one-time Thurman. There's only one Keith one-time Thurman. Um, and I prepared very well for this fight. I had five sparring partners for this fight. And uh, we're just looking forward to Saturday night. It's going to be a great night of boxing. Everybody needs to tune, uh, tune into the show. Now, Leo, we're here in Las Vegas, and this is a town that has been very good to you. You're undefeated here. 9-0 all time. Leo Santa Cruz is here in the fighting capital of the world. What is the key to your success being undefeated here in Las Vegas as you try to make it 10-0 against Keenan Carbo? I think it was because, you know, it was my dream to fight here in Vegas. You know, when I was a kid, I saw the champions, you know, fighting here in Vegas. And I said, hopefully one day uh, I could make it and fight in Vegas. That would be my dream. So every time I come here, I leave everything here in the ring. And, you know, uh, I just train really hard and give them my best. Now, Leo, if you're successful on Saturday against Keenan Carbohom, as you look at the landscape of the featherweight division, you got a brand new champion at 126, the WBC champion, Mark Maxayo. You also have Kiko Martinez, a man that you beat over six years ago. So is there anybody out there, Manuel Navarrete as well, is there any one of the champions who excites you and entices you as to say, if I'm successful on Saturday, I want a unification matchup against that particular guy? Uh, right now, yeah, you know, everything, hopefully, God, everything goes good on Saturday night. Uh, I think it was Magallas of the Philippines, you know. Uh, I wanted to fight Gary Russell, the fight never happened, you know. But uh, I think, you know, Magallas is a good fighter, a strong fighter, and I think a fight against him would be really great. Now, for you, Keenan, where do you feel like you have the advantages over Leo Santa Cruz? He's obviously a high volume puncher. He likes to come forward. He likes to mix it up. I mean, his fights against Carl Frampton, Abner Matis have been well documented. He's never in a boring fight. But where do you think you can be successful against Leo Santa Cruz? My intelligence, uh, my intelligence, um, all, all the phys physical attributes, I believe that 
I'm stronger, uh, faster. And then the, the S factor is, is my trainer, my grandfather, uh, Danny Carbo. I feel like he's the, well, I know he's the best trainer in the world, so his intelligence was there and, and, and our camp went very smooth. Uh, I learned a lot in just this training camp and that, so I know I'm gonna step in there the best version of myself. Now back to Keith Thurman, the former unified welterweight champion of the world. You mentioned on Fight Camp that you have plenty more good years in you. Have you thought about, you're 33 years of age, how long you want to go? Is it a year-by-year -year basis? Is it a fight-by-fight -fight basis? Is it when I accomplish this particular thing in my career, you have a litany of accomplishments that you've already gone after and conquered over the course of your decade-long career? Uh, I'm here to walk the path of a true warrior, you know. Uh, I want to push it to the limit, you know, uh, just like Floyd did, just like Pacquiao did, just like Ali did, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, and, and just all the tremendously great fighters. Um, there's been those who were tremendous, like Andre Ward, where some debated, did he hang it up early? You know, um, so as long as the warrior spirit within me, that fire, that flame is burning and it's still alive, you will continuously see Keith one time third. Keith, you brought up about the warrior spirit. I'm going to go back over to Mario in the sense that Mario, you are known as El Azteca. You are very proud of your Mexican and your Aztec heritage. The Aztecs being these fierce warriors, you demonstrated that especially over the last few years, over the course of your recent fights. What is the key to you being involved in these back and forth fights that entertain and excite fight fans around the world? Um, that's, you know, that's just part of my style. You know, that's um, every time I step in the ring, you know, I bring that intensity. I bring that, that determination. Um, you, you know, you're gonna have to hit me with, with, with something crazy, you know, to, to to get me out of there, because I mean, if, if I get dropped, you know, I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna keep on coming. Um, it doesn't matter what way you throw at me. Um, I'm in there, you know, to to do whatever I can, you know, to come out victorious. And um, that's exactly what, you know, I, I try doing every time I step in that ring. Against Keith Thurman, obviously not divulging your game plan, but you are obviously the taller fighter, but you like to mix it up on the inside as well. What are some things that you feel you have to do on Saturday in order to get your hand raised against the former welterweight champion of the world? I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to, you know, do it all. Um, you know, if Thurman is, a, is, you know, it was the most difficult fight that was presented to me, and that's why, you know, I took it. Um, he can box, he can bang, he has good movement, and, um, you know, so... Um, during camp, we, we had to get ready, you know, for, for every style uh, possible, you know, because we know he, he could do it all. But, um, you know, as, as he was saying, uh, I believe, you know, we, we have the potential to bring out the best out of each other. And man, it's, it's, it's gonna be a hell of a night of boxing. You know, this is definitely a fight that y'all don't wanna miss out on. And it all comes away on Saturday night from the Michelob Ultra Arena here at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. It is Fox Sports BBC pay-per-view. Our co-main event, Leo Santa Cruz and Keenan Carbohom. Keenan, finally, what do you want to tell all the fight fans around the world, and especially those in your hometown of Phoenix? You're riding an 18-fight win streak. You have a lot of momentum coming in this fight, but you are the underdog coming into the showdown against Leo Santa Cruz. This is my moment. This is the moment we've been waiting for. I mean, you know, we're here. Uh, Phoenix, we're here. Come February 5th, it's best to see a, a, a showdown, a war, a battle, a fight to be talked about for many years to come. Leo Santa Cruz, the featherweight champion of the world, absent from the ring for 15 months. It is glad and we are thrilled to see you make your return. But what do you want? What statement are you hoping to put on on Saturday night against Keenan Carbajal in the co main event? I, uh, I want to you know, prove to the fans that I'm back, you know, that I want to go back to the top. I want to go where I left off, you know, a champion. And I just want to go out there and entertain, entertain the fans like I always do. I always try to go out there and, you know, give the fans a great fight because that's what the fans deserve. That's what the fans come here to get, get great shows, great fights. And that's what I'm going to do with uh, Keenan Carbajal. That's our co-main event, ladies and gentlemen, Leo Santa Cruz, Keenan Carbajal. Mario Barrios, the former super lightweight champion of the world. What kind of splash are you hoping to go ahead and make against Keith Thurman in your main event on pay-per-view Saturday night? Like I've said, in, um, 
you know, these other interviews and everything. I'm looking to make a statement. Um, you know, I'm trying to put the what's away division on notice that, uh, you know, Mario Barrios is here. And, um, you know, like I said, I mean, yeah, Keith Thurman, he's a great fighter. He does a lot of great things. But it's my job, you know, to go in there on Saturday night and do everything better. And that's exactly what I intend on doing. Now for your adversary, Keith Thurman, the talking is now over, but Keith, you know how to sell a fight. You are certainly a unique personality in the sport of boxing. It seems that you are really looking forward to putting on a great show, but what do you want to tell the fans and the public out there as you prepare to take on Mario Barrios here in Las Vegas? You know, this is my presidential campaign, baby. I am back. Keith One Time Thurman is back. The Walter Wade division is back. Because without me, yo, it's been whack. At the end of the day, man, I bring the most exciting fights at 147. The most exciting fights. Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Udenis Ugas, with the belt, without the belt. Keith One Time Thurman is the champion of today, period. And that's the statement I'm making Saturday night.